get to the last question. Anybody <laughs> far away from home? You guys had a lot of close games this entire season. What does it feel to be on the winning side of one of them this year? Um, I mean, it feels great, you know, um, being able to have a postseason since 2017, correct? That's correct. Um, I mean, it's amazing being able to see fans coming through and still support us. Um, it's good, you know, just being able to stay together as a team, um, keep battling every single day. Um, we thought season was over right after the tournament, but, you know, we got an opportunity, so we got to take advantage of it. Um, it's one game. We got to keep on building through from it and watch film on it and just keep getting better every single day. What was the message just among you guys on the floor in those last few minutes with Xavier making that run, but understanding that you guys still had a, an opportunity to, to close this one out? Yeah, I would say mainly it was just to get stops, you know. I feel like we've, we've grinded out games a lot, you know. They went on a run, like, we went on a run ourselves, but they took the punch and we had a little, a little bit of adversity, but honestly, we just wanted to stay together and really just get, get stops because they went on a, a heck of a run, shout out to them. But our, our big thing was just getting stops, you know. If we get stops, we can win the game. RJ, how difficult is it as a player to, to kind of keep your composure like that final minute when you really don't know what's happening? They're reviewing plays, the, the officials, uh, but you able to kind of keep your cool in that last you know, of ball. We, we work on our practice every single day. Like coaches, whenever something bad happens or a bad play, bad run, like just keep your head up, you know. Stuff's going to happen in the game. And not everything's going to be perfect, you know. We were up 20 something in the day, like we started lagging. We, had 22 points of turnover. Yep. I mean, you got to keep our composure and <clears throat> and those tough minutes, like you know, goes back all the way to the summer workouts. Like we were, we were running a lot, uh, like beating each other up in practice, practicing hard every single day. So you know, we just we work for these moments and yeah, just proud to be on a winning side this time and just keep building from it. RJ, what does this postseason mean for you? You've had a season where you know we've seen you look dynamic at times, other times not as much PT. Uh, where are you at, and what does this postseason mean to you here at Georgia? Yeah, it means a lot for the team, not just for me. You know, like everybody in here together. So just being able to keep sharing with my guys, um, keep playing with them, and you know, keep practicing with them is just amazing for me. You know, being in the postseason and just <coughs> being able to keep doing what I love. Silas, you're a point guard. What's your, you know, what what's been your uh, take on Russ and his passing ability, and what was your uh, view of the block? Uh, I mean, obviously, we all knew Russ could pass. You know, not as good as we've seen recently, but <laughs> like, he he's honestly one of those guys very versatile at his size. You know, very quick, agile on his feet. I mean, just see him make those passes to guards like us. Just just know we can trust him with the ball, especially like he's had a few high assist games. I want to say recently, he probably had a five or six assist game. I mean, just see him play make out of the pose, you know, him trusting us to catch his passes, us trusting him to throw those, I mean, just a good thing for us, honestly. I mean, we, we, we play through Russ a lot at times, and honestly, if he doesn't have a more offense, he, look, he, he leans on us to kind of pick him up. So, I mean, we, we trust him a lot. RJ, you have four steals. Do you think on a dunk it every time you have a steal? It seems like he <laughs> that, that way. You said, do I think if I want to dunk it? Like, yeah, is that what you're, it goes in your mind right away? Yeah, honestly, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's one of my positives of my game, you know, just being able to have a team and get out on the run. So I know my teammates like it with the ball, and they see me wide open, I know they're going to throw the lob or, you know, pitch it ahead. So, yeah, it's kind of exciting, you know, when I get a wide open lane. Silas, with uh, 26 seconds left, it looked like uh, looked like a running back charging lane. Can you talk about that drive and going to the hole? Um, Honestly, it was kind of a wicked situation. I mean, I, I didn't really know what to think of it. You know, you know the way these refs call here and there. You know, <laughs> things change every game. No just to the refs, but things change. I mean, I just try to, you know, just adjust. Try to understand like what could have, what I could have done, what could have been better. But honestly, you know, I just try to play through that. Like coach always says, it, you got to respond, you got to adjust. So just moving on to the next play. For both of y'all, what's the reset that had to happen after Russ's block it looked like? You know, you guys had gotten the stop, and then obviously have to go back out there and get another stop. I would say just get another stop. You know, we, if we want to win the game, keep playing. You know, surviving events, we got to get another stop. So all we were saying in the huddle is we were kind of talked through what action they might run. Then we kind of kind of knew it once they once we called that timeout what they wanted to do. I mean, kind of figure out who we want to put on the ball, who we want it off, and just kind of talk through the switches and everything. Like we just we just it was all about just getting a stop.
Silas, real quick, uh, you guys make a couple of free throws and there's not quite as much drama there at the end of the game. I'll miss some in the last outing too. Anxiety or, or just, uh, you know, just flukes and that kind of thing? Honestly, I would just say flukes. I mean, it's been games where we've shot over 80%, so, I mean, we know we can do it. Just the fact of getting to the line, calming down, calming yourself down, breathing, and just know, like, we work on free throws every day. You should have the confidence to hit those at any given time. So just believing in yourself and having confidence is really the main thing. we got to have when we walk up to the free throw line. RJ, what's it like now to play? You know, portal opens on Monday, game on Tuesday. I don't know if you're thinking about, you know, what are you doing next season? Like, is it a weird time uh, you know, with that kind of stuff going on? Nah, I'm not worried about that at all right now. You know, I'm just worrying about today. Um, you know, waiting to see what Wake Forest and App State does. Um, Portal's not in my mind right now, you know, that's the latest thing that I can think about right now. Um, we got something to win right now, so, you know, just focus on what we got right now and just work in the offseason. Silas, what have the last four or five days been like where you don't know exactly if there's going to be a postseason, guys find out you're in it, and now to have won this game and know that the season's continuing on to the weekend? Uh, it was pretty hectic, you know, up and down, very emotional. You know, after the Florida game, a couple of the GAs were very emotional because they were thinking it was the last one. But kind of kind of everybody in our group was kind of like, you know, we still have a chance. You know, we won some big-time games, and we've been in games. So, I mean, it's been very emotional. It's been very up and down. But I feel like after after the game, got back home, got a reset. We had a good practice on Sunday, a good practice yesterday. And I feel like that was the best for us, you know, just for us to come home, relax, understand that we might have something still to play for. We might not. But – just to still be with my teammates and the coaches is, is great for us. Silas, obviously not knowing if that was the last home game of the season, just how exciting was it to get another opportunity to come out here and, and then obviously to win on this big of a stage in front of the home crowd? Uh, it was definitely a great opportunity. You know, we kind of let the fans down at home at times. You know, we've had some big wins and had some tough losses, but just to get another win in front of the hometown, you know, it just feels good for us and it's good for the university. What about uh, your North Carolina native? Uh, you, you know, the be App State or – uh, Wake Forest, and any part of you excited about possibly going back to North Carolina? Or? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I always have a big, a big gathering of people at the game. So I mean, if this, if this in North Carolina, like, I don't know, I, I don't know how crazy it would be, but I know I'd be, I would be very jacked and just very happy to be back home. You know, just get, just get to play in front of a whole lot of family and friends. You know, it would just be good for me. Time for two more questions. RJ, with how chaotic I would imagine the last 48 hours have been, just the quick prep, how much more rewarding does it feel to win this game? I mean, there's not much I can ask for, you know. Just got the dub. You got to keep it moving now, um, keep working them all, and just mentally stay locked in and focused. Is that it? All right. Thank you.